Next, we are going to be reviewing the um, spring white, and this tea came from uh, Hawaii Rainforest Tea Garden, which is in Curtistown, Hawaii, on the Big Island, and the tea grower's name is Bob Jacobson. Leaf-wise, comparing this one to the green that we just in encountered, um, my sample, and again, this I know we got five grams, so comparing a five gram to 15 gram, not always the same as far as what leaves you get. Uh, these leaves, a lot of them appear to be less intact. I mean, I had little bits and pieces. Then beside that, I would have, uh, oh, maybe 20% that are uh, needle, like leaf and bud, rather. Let's see if I can get that. So I got a leaf, several leaves and buds. Um, a lot of darkness there. A lot of, uh, I, I don't see the, I mean, I, the silvery color that can come with some, say, um, Bai Hao Injin, a Chinese uh, silver needle, white tea. Uh, less of the silver here, more of the browns, more of the uh, kind of olive drab green type colors. Yeah, I agree with you on, on that. Um, it's, it's very brown for a white, although I'm wondering if your mail carrier crushed yours, because I have a lot of very pristine bud sets. Uh, I would say that the majority of mine looks just like this. I have I have quite a few of those as well, uh, but, yeah. but maybe I I don't have uh, maybe as many as you do. I certainly I think maybe I have I see a lot of buds with um and then a few of the uh, oh here's another set. But see it's like this is what I get like the fuzzy bud and then more of an opened smaller leaf. Yeah, but in general, I would say mine are, are, are together more than yours, and that's just a function of your, your mail quality, Jason. I'm sorry. The mail in New Jersey can be quite dodgy. <laughs> or maybe my sample came from the bottom where everything, it's all the little pieces had sifted down. Uh, yeah, this, this tea, yeah, this tea is, um, it's very full leaf. Uh, Bob, when he processes tea, he literally just plucks the, the bud in two leaves and just dries it that way. Um, but it is a very delicate tea. It's very easy to break, so that, that could be an issue with it. Yeah. The taste is great. It's, it's very. It, it's got that quality of Hawaii teas that I'm familiar with now that I've been there. Um, it, it's it's minerally, um, and I don't know if that's something specific to the terroir there. Terroir there, but um, the, the fragrance, the fragrance is like it's very flowery. Like and it just it's just straight orchids and minerals is all I'm getting. What would you what would you say is the intensity on the orchid, Tony? Hmm. Uh, do we have gardenia in there? Gardenia. Uh, no. We got it. All right, I'm adding that. It's gardenia. <laughs> I was raised by a forest. I know this. I get um, mine's uh, part of it. I think is a function of having this tea, letting it cool longer than say, pouring it right off and tasting it closer to its uh, steep temperature. But uh, it's got a bit of. It does have a floral for mine. It's it's tapered off some. This could be a, a, a factor of water that I'm using, local water. Um, but it's got more of a of a sweet clover. I think of um, field flowers in that sense. Miriam, do you, you have um, some notes? Um, I'm trying to figure out sort of what my, it's, it's really, really florally. It's really nice. You know, it's got that mineral side effect, you know, side to it, but um, it's it's much more springy than than most teas that I get the that I you know that like the the cliff teas that you'll taste the mineral with, um, and which you know which I always describe it as springy. But how would you describe that sort of classic white tea brightness in the flavor? Like, what would you do? You, do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> 
I, I mean, my mental association of that is, uh, you know, wildflowers of, of a field, whether it's clover. Um, part of me, part of me even says, uh, there's something in here that's a little bit sweet. I, if I, if you taste wildflower honey, uh, there's a little bit of that going on for me. So you got a, a honey note. There we go. So, any any final final notes from anybody? Um, texture wise, um, you can get some white teas that are starchy like raw potato. This one is much smoother than that. It's got it's more rounded, if you want to use that, so that it, it's it's got a gentle kind of te how light powdery to almost type of texture, light just slightly drying on the top of the tongue. Uh, yet it, it with the the honey or the sweetness and the, the floral, it just balances well so that it gives a kind of a mouth watery texture to it. it, it they play well together. Great, thank you. We'll add that in the uh, mouth watery texture.